Oxidized LDL is much more likely to pass through the injured intima lining, those injured intima cells. Oxidation, inflammation, same thing in terms of the human process. Now, how do we measure that? C-reactive protein is one of the things we look at. C-reactive protein is a protein made by the liver in response to multiple inflammatory challenges. You can get a significant number of false positives. For example, if I give 100 people a flu vaccine today, within 48 hours, two thirds of, these, of those people, 66 of them will have a positive C-reactive protein. Now that is not cardiovascular vascular inflammation, that's not the kind that's going to cause ongoing increasing risk for a heart attack and stroke. So again, that would be what I would label a false positive. But it does happen with increased inflammation in the walls of the artery. So it's something that we look for. We want to get these different sources that we'll talk about during the presentation today and put together a picture of, okay, do you have inflammation? And if so, just how much? As I've said, there's too many false positives. We can't rely on CR alone. So we consider we use the other tests as well. Winning is exciting, but you know what? What you're winning matters even more. How about the chance to win another couple of decades of life, healthy life, understanding the cause of heart attack, stroke, dementia, the major killers and disablers, and how to prevent those. You can win these courses to do just that. How do you do that? Click the link below, watch the video, answer the questions, and the more you answer right, the better your chances of winning. Give it a try. Win things like free courses that can save your life.